I'm actually really nervous. Okay. What's up, P Nation? We are back on the streets of Bangkok looking for some really delicious street food. So we're here on Petrobury Road, just north of MBK, looking for some awesome street food to fill our tummies. It's gonna be great. tender this fish is. Oh my gosh. What is especially crazy is that this whole fish only cost us 80 baht. That's like two and a half dollars. In Thai language you can order this as pla pao and that translates to fish barbecued in salt. And the salt really gets into the meat and it like flavors it perfectly. So normally we just get fruit, but here we got like this salt sugar thing. I think you're supposed to put on the fruit. It's pink. Tell us what it is if you're not. Okay, so next on our list, papaya salad. Okay, for all of you hip people out there who know about papaya salad, it's also called Song Tan. And we just had a very lovely lady make us some. And we asked for no spice because Song Tan gets really spicy really quickly. Here we go. Papaya salad is so good because it's like a myriad of flavors. You've got sweet, you've got salt, you've got a little spice. You've got like a fishy flavor from some dried shrimp and nuts. Peanuts. Peanuts are the best part of it. So we bought some, what we thought was like red sticky rice. It might not be sticky rice because it's like falling apart in my hands, but they said to dip the rice in the papaya salad and then eat it. So I'm just gonna like drop it in. All the flavor is in the juice in the bottom, and the rice just soaks it up. This nice lady's letting me try, uh, I think it's a maggot, <laughs> before we buy it. Ready?
we're moving from crickets to chicken back to street meat. Mmm, chicken. <laughs> it's like that little boy who's like, mmm, chicken. <laughs> This is not really for eating on the stick. This is more for like taking off. To slide it off. Okay, we're gonna focus on this one piece. Honestly, you can't go wrong with like Bangkok street chicken. That sounds bad, it sounds gross. It's not, it's really good. It's usually barbecued and like has a sweet sauce on it. It's really good. on mustard greens and bean sprouts. Chicken curry soup. So excited. Oh my gosh. This is a big bowl. It only cost us 40 baht. I don't know how that's even possible. This is like a magical street where things are less expensive than we'd find them to be everywhere else. King's coronation is this weekend. We've been seeing flowers literally everywhere, especially Christmas. They're bright yellow, they are so pretty. So in honor of the King's coronation, we decided to get some chrysanthemum juice. So I don't know if this is juice or if this is tea. Let's find out. It's a little less floral though. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like, it kind of just tastes like sugar cane juice. Maybe a little bit of a floral hint, but not fruity or anything, just kind of like a subtle flavor. Oh, so it's like, it looks like a burrito when it first comes out. It's just basically the thinnest omelet you've ever seen with the pad thai in the middle. Okay, so now switching to chopsticks. Very interesting, it's completely different. I've been missing ketchup back home. It tastes like noodles and ketchup. Normally Pad Thai has a bit of peanutty sauce, which is not the case here. It's very tomatoey, and the egg is kind of covered in hot sauce, so that could be why. So tomato Pad Thai and an egg wrap. Mm. Oh, I think it's time for mango sticky rice for dessert. Yeah, okay, mango sticky rice. We're back in Thailand, and I have not had it yet. Oh, it's just so good. The rice is super al dente, the crunch. You guys that live in Thailand, you already know about this. It doesn't come with crunchies on the top, it's not real. The mango is super ripe, so it's super sweet. And then the sauce on top just makes everything just stick together. It's amazing. Ugh, I am so full. How about you? Very full. To the point where my belly hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing to be back in Bangkok to do this food tour. We were thinking about not doing it, and I'm so glad we did because all this food was so delicious. Every night's a good night to do a street food tour in Bangkok, but tonight was especially good. Meatball curtains. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna make it. Can we make it? 
And we made it. Whoa, whoa.